Good morning, fans, privateers, FX. Coming at you on a Thursday here. Uh, I guess we're the 20th. Yeah, 20 Feb. Um, let's check this dollar yen. Uh, astounding move yesterday. Started at 110.15, added some energy at 110.30, uh, and then again at 110.53. Uh, there was a flurry of buying last night through 111.50. Quite the move. Um, here we are, uh, 111.41. We got down to 111.11 last night. Core long is the way. This is going to 112.50, we think. So core long is the way. Uh, be careful trading this. Uh, this isn't really a tradable long just because of the power of this move. You're likely to get caught um, square, if you know what I mean. So when you sell and you try and buy back but there's no pullback, um, you end up losing the position. So core long dollar yen. Uh, we're looking for 112.50. All cross yen should should follow suit here. Um, Euro yen, same thing. This uh, should get up to 121.15 um, for Friday. Sterling yen has been a little bit more stubborn, just because cable is getting smacked. Uh, cable down 129.10. Uh, so cable uh, sterling yen less so. Swiss yen. It's kind of the same as, as Euro Yen because Euro Swiss isn't doing too much. Um, Aussie Yen, a little bit slower on the go. We made new 10 year lows in Aussie last night. Um, filled this gap up at 74.46, but we haven't really been able to make any headway there. Uh, Kiwi Yen as well. Less interesting because Kiwi is getting hit. Uh, so basically, Euro Yen, Swiss Yen, and Dollar Yen look like the horses here. Um, so Core Long, that stuff. Dollar Swiss. Funny little, uh, funny little overnight there. Moved down to 22. I'm not really sure what happened there or why why that happened. I imagine Euro went through 08. Yeah. Euro went up to 15. Um, but core long dollar Swiss is okay. This is not really not really super tradable. It's just so boring. Um, and it's kind of like the Euro downside. If you're getting long dollar Swiss up here now, it's, it's a bit late in the game. Um, but we do continue. We, we do feel like we're going to continue to see more dollar buying. Uh, even though this has been a strong trend so far. Like I said, Aussie uh, traded down to 30. Got smashed last night. Surely this was Aussie data. Haven't even looked yet. But um, Aussie's now a sell, right? You sell Aussie between 60 and 75. I uh, don't want to fade this through these 10 year lows with some power uh, through these 10 year lows. So um, Aussie's not looking too good. Equities not doing too much. Uh, traded all the way up to 97, back down to 76. You can sell stretch high ones. Today we would sell 3405s um, just for a trade. This is so bullish and so insane uh, that you just kind of have to watch this thing. It's better just to watch. Um, you could tactically sell high ones. Um, we're just waiting for this to turn. Uh, and we may be waiting for, you know, we. We may be waiting for a while, right? I mean, who knows? Like the first real bearish moment is if this gets through 3340. So, um, interesting little pullback last night. Uh, could be a lot of things, but uh, 
we're staying away from equities in general. We will it, tactically we do like to sell stretch highs still just because of the insanity of uh, this move. So today it'll be in that sort of 3404, 3414 area. Uh, we'll be sellers of this. Dollars are uh, with the stocks off a little bit zipped up a little higher. We haven't been able to get through this 1512, but this looks like a matter of time. Euro Swiss, uh, we did a bullish engulfing yesterday. So we had that uh, silly 06, six and a half low in Asia. Um, and then we closed up at 33. Haven't been able to make a new high yet, 35 high. Um, pretty neutral day so far pretty negative let's to be fair um, down to 13 again here we are at 19 um, there does seem to be some interesting support 10610 area in euro swiss what else is out there oh yeah cable we've got this retail sales today um, this looks like a good chance we might take a little visit to this um, 128.72 low. We've been talking about how we just don't think um, the UK is is going to have an easy time of this. Yesterday we saw that there's conflict with the European uh, negotiators. There's just so many things that can go wrong for the UK, and it's not even it may not even be their fault. It could be. Uh, it could be European ego, but it also could be European incompetence, right? So if they just can't get a consensus, if they just have a couple of guys who are pissed, um, this will delay and make things complicated. I just, I just get the feeling people don't really uh, understand how many moving parts there are in this negotiation. And, and think about any negotiation you've ever had in your life. Um, the more moving parts there are, the more difficult it is to have a peaceful negotiation and to get things done uh, sensibly. So I would not be surprised if we see a flush in sterling. It's been very difficult to trade. Um, but if you look at it from sort of a distance, we've got these highs up here, 135.18, then lower highs here, 132.80, then lower highs here, 131.98. Now lower highs here, 13070. So we do. There is a little bit of a trend here. Um, see this downward sloping trend here. Since the Boris, uh, the Boris bounce there. Still haven't had any kind of capitulatory puke on the downside. So that puke is below this point, 127.75. Retail sales surely uh, is not going to be the catalyst, uh, but it is a mover. It is a mover in the UK. I'm just looking here. Yeah, retail sales. Uh, we'll have to see. Kind of, you know, looking for 0 0.7 could easily come in negative like it did last time. It's kind of a wild number, but... Uh, Anyway, we're bearish, uh, Sterling. Let's see how we go on that. Uh, what else is out there? Let's take a look at crude, which is on a bit of a rampage. Riddle me this, man. I don't. I don't understand this. I do not get this at all. Um, crude demand in, in where I, where my brain lives, is going to be just dented uh, big time because of the lack of demand in Asia and yet here we are 53.77 it's kind of risk on this price action we don't have a dog in this fight um, we will be fading this in that 55 right around that 55 handle um, market got caught short here uh, and now we just have to be patient. 
55 looks like a good little good little sale certainly on the day today we'll be selling 55s finally bitcoin bitcoin got smoked yesterday um which is not a bad thing um because a lot of people don't have this uh and if you want to you're trying to reach in and, and, and buy some low ones 8,000 is really the place you want to you want to try and get long, but anywhere between 9,000 and 8,000 looks pretty good to me. A uh, lot of talk yesterday about you know where's the safe haven play now that that yen is no longer a safe haven. That correlation now is is officially been called dead. Uh, as we've been saying since the beginning of the year, we think Bitcoin is is uh, one of the one of the better safe haven plays. So as as things get screwy and as the shit hits the fan, uh, I think there will be more money that goes into Bitcoin. So owning it core long, uh, we do like. So maybe a 9200 bid, 8800 bid uh, Bitcoin looks interesting. Pretty bearish day yesterday, so there's no real rush to this. Um, and if you're a currency trader, just recognize that Bitcoin is more like a tech stock. Um, than it is like euro dollar or dollar yen shit moves uh, so price accordingly alright uh, let's leave it at that the US obviously has um, ADP today Philly Fed uh, not in jobless claims the usual stuff uh, on Thursday so nothing too serious there PMIs tomorrow in Europe uh, for Euro. That's that's interesting. Anyway, I've said enough. Uh, have a good trading day out there, people. Uh, core long, dollar yen. Try and buy the dips. Talk to you tomorrow.